You know, friends, sometimes I get my hands on some pretty cool stuff here at Legally Owned America. Today's one of those days. This is a Henry Repeating Arms American Eagle Rifle Chamber and 22 Long Rifle. This thing's pretty nice. They did some things with this rifle that I probably, I don't think I've ever seen done before on any rifle, let alone a Henry rifle. Most Henry rifles are already somewhat of a thing of beauty. The craftsmanship that goes into right. putting these things together is just incredible. But they went a little bit farther on this one. It's pretty much a golden boy with the nickel plated silver receiver. But they did something a little bit different with their standard walnut wood. Instead of just putting the walnut wood on there, what they did, it's a process where they primed this wood several times over and sanded it at various points during that priming of the coats and to, uh, basically to let that uh, the wood grain shine through, but kept sanding it and kept priming it and it gave it somewhat of an ivory look. That's kind of the look they were going for. I'd say they accomplished it. It's almost like white chocolate, <laughs> but, but ivory is what they were going for. I love the way the wood grain kind of peeks through. To me, that's what make this, makes this thing so unique. Anybody can paint a stock white uh, or ivory colored, but the fact that they uh, you know, managed to pull that wood grain through there, to me, is a very nice touch. I like the silver hardware on this thing. I'd be curious to see what it would look like with gold hardware, but it may clash a little bit. I think the silver probably was the right touch for this. Having the blue barrel to me looks nice. It's a nice contrast. You having all three of those colors on there, kind of the ivory white along with the silver and then the black. That's a very, very nice touch. Of course, it's an octagonal barrel, 20 inch barrel. It's got a semi buckhorn rear sight on it and it's standard front sight that all the, or at least most of the Henry's come with. I really like that to me. If you're familiar with the Henry line, it makes it something that you're used to shooting. You pick it up and of course it's a 22, so no recoil. So you're gonna have some pretty accurate shots on target down range. The butt plate is also the nickel plated silver along with the receiver. And of course, you've got your barrel ring up front here. Uh, this thing is nice. I mean, there's not much you can say about it. If you've shot a Henry before, you know what I'm talking about. The quality is there. These things cycle like butter. You never have to worry about any kind of malfunctions. Uh, you know, this one does come with the tube feed on it. You kind of wonder if Henry's going to make one with a side loading gate. Not sure if that's necessary. They're only going to make so many of these, and I do think that this being somewhat of a collector's item, you don't need to go full blown out there. You don't want to flood the market with these because whoever does manage to pick some of these up, they're going to have themselves a collector's item. So, I mean, I, I don't see them doing too many variations of this. Probably not a whole lot of different calibers. It probably depends on how quickly this thing sells out as to whether or not they move into some of the other larger calibers out there. How do they shoot? It's like every Henry. You know, 22 long rifle, no recoil. It shoots out here. I start out at about 15 yards, then I move out to about 45 yards. You know, it's going to be accurate. It's going to be true. Um, it's just fun to shoot. You know, these types of guns, these Golden Boys or any of the smaller 22s that Henry sells, including this one, of course, are great guns to get your young people interested in firearms at a young age and not have that intimidating factor. You notice I still wear ear protection. It's always a good thing. Um, so, I mean, you can, you can take that loud report of a larger caliber gun or even a shotgun out of the equation along with that harder recall. You know, the kids are not going to feel that crazy recall. And we can introduce them to guns at a very young age to where we, if we remove that intimidating factor out of it with the recall and the loud reports, then to me, they warm up to the gun. And whenever they're exposed to all of those other things later on, the loud recoil, excuse me, the loud report and the uh, recoil, then that's the only thing that's new to them. Whereas if you give them a gun from the onset with all of that loudness and all of that recoil, that's a whole lot for them to have at once with that intimidating factor. It's already something new, so that's intimidating to begin with. Then you throw in those other things. So to me, these guns are great for teaching our youngsters and any kind of a new shooter. For you've seen all the stupid videos out there of people shooting a higher recoiling gun and they're just scared of it and they drop the gun in the middle of shooting it. You know, you're not going to run into that with these things. So I really like Henry repeating rifles, their lever actions, they're nice. Again, though, I, ser I think they serve a good purpose. I think, uh, you know, introducing our youth and new, new shooters to shooting sports is a great way to utilize these particular firearms. In general, I love the gun. Uh, I'm a big fan of Henry's anyway, so I'm already a fan. Um, this was nothing new for me. It's just I like the, the uniqueness of it. This is a very unique finish on this rifle, and I, I like to see Henry. They, you know, they already kind of stepped outside the box with the side-loading gate. 
and now they're doing it with some of their finishes. So I'm kind of interested and intrigued to see what I'm, we might find at SHOT Show later on in January of 2020 to see if they're going to have some new stuff with some different finishes, different calibers. You know, what are they throwing at us next? Because it seems like Henry now is starting to get a little bit more creative out there. Um, you know, we all love their old tried and true rifles, but some of the new stuff they're doing is pretty interesting to me. I will say this, my father-in-law, um, he's like a father to me. He's got one of the most amazing Henry rifle collections that I've ever seen. That's how I really kind of got warmed up to Henry and learned about their rifles. Uh, the lever action thing was never a really th a thing of mine. Uh, but he really introduced me to those and showed me those. And he actually does not have one of these yet. And I'm sure he watches the show every now and then. And this is October right now, so I'm probably going to ruin it, but this is actually his Christmas present. I'm probably ruining it in more ways than one because my father-in-law, Woodley, he doesn't shoot any of his Henrys. And I'm shooting this one. <laughs> so that's going to probably ruin it. He may, it may not be uh, allowed in his safe with all of his other beautiful Save Queen Henrys that he has out there, but nevertheless... Um, this is something that I'm giving to my father-in-law for Christmas this year, and I hope he enjoys it, and I hope he gets a chance to see it on here as a pretty cool surprise before we actually gift wrap and give it to him in December. Guys, have a good one. If you don't mind, please subscribe to us here at Legally Orn America. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram in Gun District. Um, you'll actually, if, you, if you're already subscribed to us here on YouTube, thank you. If you're not, please hit the subscribe button, but you want to hit that notification bell. Because one thing, and I get a constant reminders from a lot of our viewers out there that I'll put a new video out and they'll see it shared from somebody else and they don't get the notification, even though they've rung the bell to get notifications. I don't know why, you, well, I know why YouTube does it, but I don't know why it keeps happening and why they, they get so much out of that, why it's such a big deal to them that they continue to feel like it's something they need to do. But remember, if you've, even if you've already subscribed and even if you already hit the notification bell, hit it again because you may not be getting uh, notifications from us. And if so, I apologize. But eh, it's YouTube. What are you going to do? We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>